What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we could take a video file, bring it into Unreal Engine, have it play back inside the sequencer so you can render it out with your cinematics. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as you can see right now, I'm inside of Unreal Engine 5, but this will work inside of Unreal Engine 4. I've successfully done this with 4.26 and 4.27. And so to get started, this is a project that I actually just released. It's called Hypercube. If I play it right now inside of my viewport, you can see that we have a screen right here and then we have on the doors right here we have videos playing back and this is actually an mpeg it's h264 video playback let me actually turn some of these things off so i'm gonna turn off my fluid here let me leave the plane on i'm gonna turn off the atom array here and then i should have it should be good there let me see yeah so i'm gonna turn this off there so you guys can see everything playing in the background as well so i just have a plane right here inside of the box is actually playing back the video file as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you exactly how i brought the video file in so i'm playing it back inside of unreal engine here so let me stop this and then i'm actually going to open up a brand new file so we can start from scratch so i'm going to launch unreal engine 5 and i'm actually going to close down the project from before and so in here, I'm just gonna come over to film a video and then I'm gonna start with a blank canvas here. I'm gonna name this one video tutorial and I'm just gonna hit, oh, I could turn our ray tracing. Then I'm gonna hit create. Okay, so now we're inside of Unreal Engine 5 with a blank slate. So I'm just gonna click update here in the lower right hand corner. Dismiss plugins, we don't need anything for this. I'm gonna delete the floor plane. I'm gonna delete that start maybe even take off reflection i'm just going to have a real simple scene in here to show you guys how we could do this and so i'm actually going to turn off the fog as well and the sky sphere so i'm just going to leave a light source in here and skylight and then what i'm going to do now is come over here to my content browser and i'm going to drag in an mpeg4 file so let me open up my file explorer this is the video that i'm actually going to bring in so i built this it's audio reactive i built it inside of cinema 4d using a plugin called mantis and so this is just playing back to the audio file and the bpms that i set for it and so i'm going to bring this into unreal engine just going to click and drag and now we have this little tv box in here but first let me add some geometry so we can have something that we can actually put the video file onto so i'm going to come up here to the top left hand corner where it says create i'm going to come down to shapes and let's just use a cube so i'm going to click on that then if i come over here to my raw outliner down here where it says transform i'm just going to click on this arrow just to center it up double click on my cube and there we go so now i just have a basic cube inside of my scene here but there's a few steps i need to take to be able to put the video onto the cube and so down here i'm just going to go into my content browser i'm going to right click and then i'm going to come over here to where it says media and then i'm just going to click on media player right here so i right clicked with the media and then i'm going to click on media player and then right here where it says create media player video output media textures asset i'm going to click this one on and then i'm going to click ok and so down here it's going to have like this little red strip under a tv box it's going to be default media player but i'm just going to leave it you can name it whatever you want especially if you have a couple of different video files in here but i'm just going to leave it at default so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to double click on this tv screen and you can actually see like if you have multiple video files in here it's going to show a couple in here but i just have the one so i'm going to double click on it and you can see that it's playing back in here and everything looks good and so the one thing that i want to do is i'm going to click on loop and then you see over here under your playlist you can actually add a playlist so if you have a couple of videos you can actually drag all those in here and you can have it play out in the sequence or if you come down here under playback you can actually have a shuffle so i'm happy with how everything is here i'm just going to click on save and then i'm going to exit this out you can see that it added the video in here then from here i'm going to click and drag this onto my cube and give us a second and now you can see we have our video file on here it made a new video asset material down here in the lower right hand corner as well if i double click on this you can see that we just have a basic material in here it's blank because we don't have any video playing back yet and so to get that to work actually i'm going to click yes because it's just asking me if i want to save it out and so to get the video playback in here i'm actually going to open up a sequencer which i need to make a brand new sequencer and so to do that i'm going to come over here to cinematics come down here to add level sequence and then i'm just going to leave it at default click save and now we have the sequencer that popped up in here 
And so what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to right click inside this little blank box here under track. If you right click and then come over here to media track, you can see it has a little TV here. Click on this and now I'm going to click on media and then I'm going to click on that Mantis video that I had in my previous window, my content browser. So I'm going to click on this. And now you can see that it added a track here, but we're still not getting any playback. And that's because we have a few more steps that we need to make. So I'm going to come over here to media. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to come over to edit section. And let's see down here. We want to have it looping and right here under media texture. I'm going to click on none and then I'm going to select that media texture that it created whenever I brought my video file in. So I'm going to click on this one. And now you can see that I popped inside of the cube here instead of my viewport window, but there's still a couple of more steps that we need to take. And so if I go back to my Windows Explorer, I have it marked down here. So I have about 2,890 frames. As you can see down here, it just defaulted at 30 in which oh, it even shows it right here, 2,890 frames. And so I want to make sure that it goes for the full duration of my video file here. And plus I need to change the frame rate because I did build this out at 60 FPS. So first I'm going to come here, 60 FPS, like so. And then I'm going to right click right here inside of my timeline. I'm going to come over here to properties. And then I'm going to click on section here. And right here where it says section range end, I'm just going to do 2,890 and then hit enter. And there you go. You see that it goes out the full duration down here in the lower right hand corner. I'm actually going to change this to 2890. There we go. And then I'm going to click right here. I have my timeline brought all the way to the end here. Then I'm just going to click on this to end it here. Now, if I come all the way here to the start and click play, now we should have playback on our cube here. And it's a little washed out and that's because of the skylight here. So I'm actually going to, let's say, turn this down a little bit in which you can see it has some reflection on there as well. Let me stop this for a minute because I can show you how we could do something cool here as well. So actually let me delete my skylight and my light source. And now you see we have a black screen in here or a black scene, I should say. And so what I'm gonna do now is come back to my content browser, double click on my material. And if right here where it says RGB, I'm gonna click and drag this to emissive material or emissive color. And then I'm gonna click save. And now inside my viewport, now my material is actually emissive. So if I come back over here to my sequencer, you can see that the glow from my material is actually illuminating inside of my scene here. So this is a cool effect. You know, if you want to have this on like a monitor or a TV screen, this is something cool just to add some, you know, some realism to it. But that's basically how I have my videos playing back inside of Unreal Engine. And so if you render it out from here as a cinematic, everything will render out with that cinematic and you should be good to go. So hopefully this helped you guys out. I know I've had a couple of people asking me how we could have video playback inside of Unreal Engine. Again, I'm using Unreal Engine 5 here, but this does work in at least 4.26 and 4.27. So if this did help you out, make sure you leave me a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, leave me a big thumbs up. And until next time, time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you in the next video i see you soon take care what up what up Wimbush here